Where y'all at, Facebook? Facebook. Facebook. There's one person. <laughs> Come on in. My head is itching. Come on in. What up? How y'all doing? <laughs> Y'all know whenever I come on at this time, I'm about to leave. I, I'm sure you guys have gotten familiar with this. Whenever I come on between 12.30 and 2 o'clock, y'all know a Fossil about to go handle some business, right? <laughs> y'all know I'm about to go handle some serious business. Okay, real quick before I bounce. <laughs> I had two dreams, and I still got to tell y'all words from the other day. I didn't finish telling y'all. I had two dreams. We're going to get straight to the point. No lollygagging this time. We're going to change the point. I had another food shortage dream and another dream about Trump. I had a food shortage dream. It was a lot of white people. Well, no, Cauc Caucasians. I'm trying to learn how to call them Caucasian. <laughs> I love my white people. <laughs> But it was a lot of white people, a lot of Caucasians, right? I didn't see no black people. But the food shortage is going to affect everybody, right? But it was a lot of white people. It was rich. They were rich, like rich people. Because in Georgia, they got a lot of rich. And where I'm from, in Jersey, they have rich areas quite a bit. But here in Georgia, a lot of these counties... Like Jonesboro, you would you would never think that Jonesboro got rich people. Oh yeah, they got a big old part of Jonesboro, Atlanta, um, Gwyneth County, Henry County, all of them got rich rich white people. A lot of white people. Me and Pat was in Newman Noonan two weeks ago because we had to go up there to take care of some business. I barely saw any. Sugar brown people. <laughs> I only saw a few. Whereas where I live and other places I go, you see a whole bunch of blacks people, Afri you know, brown people, and you see some you see some white people, but I would say it's seventy percent more blacks in my area and thirty percent white, but in my area is a nice area and they got money. You know, because down here in Georgia, brown people got money. <laughs> Where I'm from, they, they have money too, but not like down here. <laughs> right? But, so, I'm going to use Noonan as an example. Because Noonan has a lot of Caucasians, maybe 20% black. And the, the rest is 80% whites, right? And it was none but white folks, Caucasians. And they was upset. Because they could not get any food. They were upset. They felt because they were so rich with money. They were more entitled than any other color. So when this food shortage get really, really bad. Some of these rich white people are going to have problems with it. And I don't see why. Because they need to be stocking up. If they got money. They need to be stocking up. If they got money, they the ones should be stocked up. They the ones should have a store where people could come to their house and buy. <laughs> okay. So I was like, Daddy, and, and Daddy brought it back to my memory because I remember the Trump dream. But the, the grocery, the, the food dream, it just went out my head. And I was praying. And I and I always pray and I always be like, God, if I if I if I miss the dream, bring it back. As soon as I said it, he brought that dream back. I was like, food shortage dream? I was like, why are so white folks? So he said that these rich white folks, or, or, or maybe, you know, maybe not even super rich. I mean, because in, in Noonan, they rich, but they're not like the super rich, like 50, 60 billion, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 billion, million, right? He said that these rich uh, people... And it wasn't just representing white people. I, I Well, maybe it could have been. I'm not sure. But he said, he said, people who are privileged, you know, right now, going to have problems when these food shortages start. 
And I was like, I don't know why what why would they have problems? Because they got money. So they should be stocking up. And daddy was like, they don't they're not listening. They don't think they have to. And I and I said, Well, you know, they got these big old Costco's and Sam's Club. And and daddy told me that those those kind of stores, Costco, Sam Clubs, BJ's, all of them, he said they're going to be rationing food. They're going to be rationing food because those are bulk places. And he said they're even going to be rationing food. So there's going to be privileged people, probably just about every color, if in Spanish, black, whatever, Chinese, whatever. And you privilege, but more so it's going to be the white folks because that's what I saw. More so it's going to be white people, you know, and other nationalities that are privileged. They have a problem when this food shortage gets to the peak point that it's going to get to. They're going to have a problem because they were all in the store. It was a big store. It could have been like a Costco's or something. It was a big store, and they were all like huddling together, and they were complaining, and they were um, fussing because they couldn't get the food they wanted. They couldn't get the amount of food that they wanted because it was being rationed. So people are privileged, especially Caucasian people in this USA or, or where else, they're going to have issues. They're going to have issues. Their, their privileges is not going to help them when it comes to this, this situation. God is going to be humbling. And he told me this. He's going to be humbling a lot of these rich folks out here. He already have movie stars, singers. Look at how much money he done took from the singers. Their, their concerts and stuff. Shut down the movie industry for a couple of months. Look how much money he already done took from them. Look how much money... All these people that had these nice restaurants all over the world, especially in Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta used to be the la cream of la cream. Not no more because a lot of them restaurants is gone. High price restaurants. Food all over the place. Things are gone. High, high, high price uh, little boutiques. They known for that in Atlanta and in Doomwoody and um, what's this other rich place up here in Atlanta that I've been to? Um, Peach Tree City, places like that. They would have these little expensive boutiques charging outrageous money for a little skimpy dress. Right? So God has humbled many a people. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Hey, you know you're supposed to come here. <laughs> yeah. Excuse you. Yeah. So, um,. God is already humbling. I gotta sweep my floor. I just, just got swept up the day. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> just those two. The other two I was managed to, I, I managed to put in the garbage can. The other ones I managed to put in the garbage bag. Oh. Put them in the garbage. Those are the only two you gotta have. Yeah. I wouldn't care. We just get there early. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second. I knew you was going to pop up as soon as I get on here. <laughs> That's your bread. I gave it to you. I know you like that kind. I said, Pat, go eat this. <laughs> okay, one minute. Why you got your stuff in my seat? You know you're supposed to clear this seat when I get in here, woman. I just threw it back there. Uh-oh. Phone done dropped. I'm already like, what is the possible doing? Oh, no, guess what? She just threw it. Look, why you got this in my thing? Look, she just... I'll put that in your seat. She just... Because you know when I come, you're supposed to clear my seat out. <laughs> you're not supposed to have anything in my seat. You, you're supposed to say to yourself, okay, I got to go pick up a parcel. Yeah. So I got to clear her seat. Because you know this is my car. I, I told you this is my car. You just paid the car note and the insurance. <laughs> I told you this is my car. So you better stop playing with me. When you come over here, clear my seat. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> Daddy, get her. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Daddy, gonna get Turn her. Turn the AC on, girl. Daddy, gonna get her. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to put my.
my seatbelt on, cause if I don't, Pat gonna beat me up. Good night. What up with the seatbelt? Put it all the way back. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Tell him this is my car. Daddy go get her. Yeah, tell him this is my car. It's her car. And tell him you gotta have have my seat clear when you come. I gotta have <laughs> her seat cleared <laughs> when she open up that door. <laughs> I won't hear the last of it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so so God is humbling. But you gotta love us. <laughs> yes, you have to love me. Um, so God is humbling these people who think they're privileged. He about to show them that he he the one that's in charge and and and, and not them. K KJ Trey said hello. Hey <laughs> Oh she is so serious too. <laughs> Yes, she is. <laughs> Be quiet, Rose. <laughs> she said, we love Mufasa. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I had a dream about Trump. And I was like, I asked God, I said, so what, what does dream mean? He, and he, he going to have a lot of trouble. Because <laughs> the closer we get to the election, because so, September's around the corner. So it's going to be on when September comes. Why are you going that way? I get tired of them bumps. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, there's, there's going to be some trouble coming for him. That's all God told me from the dream. That um, there was going to be some trouble. Oh, that one. If you if you go down to this corner, right? Because when I be walking, that's how I be going. If you go down to this corner and you make a left. And then you make a right. And then you make another right. It's going to take you straight out to the highway. Okay, so go this. Hold on, y'all. I have to be the map right now. So go this way. <clears throat> Turn here. <laughs> go, um, yeah, and then make a right. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then take you right out to the highway. I only know that because I walked out. <laughs> All right, so pray, pray, pray for um, President Trump because there's some trouble. You see how much bigger these houses is on this side? Sure. They're way bigger than the houses on my side. I mean, houses on my side is big too, but these are way bigger. They got more land. Like mini mansions. They got more. This all the land they got. I ain't got no backyard, y'all. All I got is a long driveway <laughs> with a little grass here and a little grass there, and I got a cute little front lawn. But on this side of the community, they got big old backyards in front. They got big houses like little mini mansions on this side. <laughs> my side is newer, so they made those houses a little smaller over there. All right, so just pray for President Trump because he has um, some trouble coming. The closer he gets to the election, it's, oh, hold on, I got to tell this. This the pool I told you about. See? It's all the way over here. Oh. That's the pool. They be like, this one, they got tennis court over there. They got oh, golf God. court over there. Then they got the thing over there where you could uh, do cookouts, but it's too dark on hot. You be to cook yourself while you're cooking out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you. it's so hot down here. You, you be trying to flip you some burgers and hot dogs and you cooking. Is that hot? Yeah, hot. <laughs> All right, so keep, so keep, um, y'all still there? I don't yeah. see nobody moving. They still there. Oh, okay. All right, so y'all just keep Trump and pray, okay? Um, and I'm trying to remember the other pro God. Can you bring back to my memory the other prophes prophecies I was supposed to say yesterday? Okay, I know I told y'all about the deliverance because we already seen that happening. Um, and I told y'all that he's going to be taking people from your past. Even your own family members. He's going to keep them from you until they get right. Because they've been thorns in your side. And, and, and believe it or not, our family members can hold us back. God could, could, could hold us back and, and not let us go to a certain extent. Because he knows we're going to take them with us. And we can't because they're going to mess it up for us. So... You know, if any of your children, cousins, aunts, uncles, mommy, daddy, <laughs> best friend, you know, y'all get into something and, and, and it's a separation there, don't fight it because it's God. It's God because that person is hindering you and they need to get delivered. Until they get delivered, he's, he's going to keep them at a distance and he's going to take care of them. I think I'm frozen on here. Can somebody type in 
yes or you type in yes to see if I get it. Because I don't see any movement. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see if, if I'm stuck or not. Can somebody say you can hear me if y'all still here? Hello? It's not going to help them when it comes okay, to this, you, you this See, I don't see what they God see. See all them stars? I don't see that. Type, I, I see you. He already had so I can know. movie stars, singers. Look at how much money he done took from the singers. I that part already. The, co the concerts and stuff. Did you type Shut it? Shut down the movie mm -hmm. industry for you. a couple of you months. Look how I'm much frozen. money he done took oh, from